this is Ufa. I hate speaking to these ridiculous answering machines, so I'll make this brief. The House of Vienna is gone. The House of Venice is next. The House of London will be third in my dissection plan. There will always be a House of Berlin, and I will always be the father of fathers. Thank you very much. A good day. Who are the Phantom Gores? The Phantom Gores are vain, arrogant people who dress themselves in 1930s clothing. They have enormous wealth and power, not to mention manners that exceed the limits of pomposity. The Phantom Gores are members of the most exclusive club in the world, and yet they only have one requirement for joining. You must be dead. Although this knife is their chosen method of killing acquisitions, acquisitions being members of the living such as yourselves that wish to become phantom gores, this knife is more so a metaphor, for nearly all those who become phantom gores are ultimately stabbed in the back. To say stab in the back is putting it quite lightly. You see, some very short time ago in the great city of Berlin, our great and noble leader, the father of the House of Berlin, the father of fathers, Marinus Halatzgor, simply disintegrated, simply turned to dust before the eyes of his loving companion and alleged wife, the Lady Pearl. However, he disintegrated not long after having scribbled with pen and glee his entire life history, but even more so, the genesis of the Phantom Gore race, the exegesis of our being as it was called. Now, here is where it gets a bit tricky. Some few days after Marinus turned to ash before the eyes of his alleged wife, the Lady Pearl, she vanished, screaming into the night as she fled on, that she had the manuscript in her possession, had read it, and that no phantom gore should ever lay eyes on it. With her departure, it was left a void in leadership, and a coup was formed by a young and new phantom gore with the arrogant ambition that the gores once found so thrillingly impressive. This young man, named Uva, soon announced himself our new father of fathers, our new leader. With his new command came some rebellion all its own, for Uva wanted to change the Phantom Gore society, improving on it to give himself more power. Now, those Phantom Gores that disagreed with Uva's coup were quickly dissected, minced to bits, suppressing any hope of rebellion. Alas, a few did escape with the help of the charismatic Mirko, who acted as their interim leader. Hiding in a self-imposed exile in a tiny deserted apartment, they proclaim that they are no longer phantom gores, but phantom rogues, spending their time finding ways to find the manuscript before Uva does. At Mirko's side is one of our very first phantom gores, Gabby. 
Acting as a spy for Mirko, she continues to function at Uva's side, absorbing information about how far he has advanced in finding the Lady Pearl, and then reporting back to Mirko, hoping to stay one step ahead of the perilous dictator, hoping to find the manuscript before Uva does. Uva seems to finally have the upper hand when he meets a young woman from Savannah, Georgia, by the name of Justine Sizemore, who, with such nonchalance and without knowing the implications of such a thing, confesses to Uva that she met a woman in Savannah by the name of the Lady Pearl. Suddenly, Uva and the rest of the Phantom Gores rush to make the young Justine one of their own, and ultimately utilizing her as a tool for returning to Savannah, confronting the Lady Pearl and stealing the manuscript, for it is quickly being surmised that he who holds the manuscript will have power of knowledge over all Phantom Gores. And so it would seem all is lost, for those rebellious rogues led by Mirko into hiding, trying to find the manuscript first. That is, until a young American of their own suddenly makes his presence known. Mr. Clayton Strickland has just arrived on the scene, having followed his beloved Justine from Savannah all the way to Berlin. Clayton is a simple man with no concept of what awaits him, having no concept of what a phantom gore or a phantom rogue is, and what they might do with him when they discover how much they can use him. And this is where the days have led us to a scandal of mystery that extends far beyond the grave and into the shady terrain of loyalties. For with all those in attendance, all those having just been mentioned, only one will have the manuscript in the end, and in the end 